The scale of one to ten, smash no no no. I smash your pass. Two. You you rate me a two? <laughs> smash your pass. You smash and then pass. You gonna smash me and then pass me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how you coming? All the time. At least I'm in a doll. But don't pass me though, because I don't like to get passed around. You gotta have to move on. I'm gonna have to move on. Wow. Well, let's make that one night our best night. <laughs> get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Mari, and I'm back with another video. And y'all, today. We got another reaction video. We are reacting to a cut video. As y'all can see the title, this is uh, a video on who has an eating disorder. And you're going to try to find out who has the eating disorder. You know what I'm saying? Me, in my opinion, I feel like I have an eating disorder. You know what I'm saying? Because I eat a lot every day. And I, I, I don't get fat. Like, here, here. Y'all you, you, can be the judge of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. You know what I'm saying? And I work out like three, four times a day. You know what I'm saying? Trying to stay out of my way. Plus, I got a chef that be that be making me good food. Like I be um eating like all type of steaks and she cooking me all type of vegetables and asparagus and lamb chops and stuff like that that, that you don't really get on a normal day. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But man, we about to do this re react to this video, man. Who has an eating disorder? Let's find out. Let's see who has it. And I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the the judge to see if I can get all of them correct. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With that being said, y'all like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more reaction videos. Stay tuned for more active videos. Like we about to get real active. We had 100 subscribers right now. Let's get it up to like 150. If not, I'm not at 150. I'm probably at like 160. Let's get it up to 200. 200. We can do that in the month of June, July. Let's get to it, man. Let's get to the video. With all being said, y'all like, subscribe, comment, follow me on all social medias. And let's get to the video. Let's redo it. See who got this eating disorder, though. What's your thing? <clears throat> I'm a comedian. I'm a stand up. Really? Yeah. He definitely has an eating disorder. Because it's hilarious. I would have so much material. We asked people to guess who has an eating disorder from a group. Hello. Introduce yourself. My name is Rain. My name is I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one of these people that's gonna that's gonna figure out who got these this eating disorder. <laughs> What's your connection to eating disorders? I had um, anorexia so down a little bit. throughout high school that kind of shifted into bulimia, and now I kind of have just kind of unhealthy food thoughts. I have pica. Pica is when you have a craving for things you just shouldn't have a craving for, uh, like soap or chalk. Yes. I'm very nervous. I don't want to call nobody. You know what I'm saying? What if I see a fat person? You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't want to call that person fat. I don't want to based off of eating disorder because you're fat. Facts. Well, I have a lot of friends who have had eating disorders, and a common theme is like a perfectionistic tendency, like this idea that if I get everything perfect in my life, then I'll be worthy of love. You ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. It's my first person eating disorder. You have a presence. <laughs> you are a, a bigger dude, so how has that kind of... No, nah, I'm just playing. Up? I'm playing, bro. Growing up, I definitely was one to make space for others and be like, oh, no. Like, I'm too big. Yeah, I'm too big. Now I'm just kind of like... Pfft. Yeah, okay. show that weight off, boy. Can you work out? Yeah. Can I touch my chest? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, flex a little, flex a little bit. <laughs> You seem like a really chill guy. Have you always been a chill guy? I was bullied a lot younger, so I guess not necessarily. What were you bullied for? Yeah, he looked like he was chill, though. I don't think there's an eating like disorder he chill. because just of how comfortable and how... Hold on. Can I say, like, what, what... 
uh, eating disorder is like a a person that don't eat that that eats a lot, right? It's because he has an eating disorder. Or should or should I look this up? Let's just go ahead and I'm gonna base my definition of eating disorder on, on his answer on on what they guessed of him. Yeah, look at that smile. I think you have had an eating disorder because of the environment that you grew up in. My good friend has an eating disorder. Oh, if they if if, if, if you trying to call him fat because he has an eating disorder, well, I'm gonna assume he do got one. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no fat person is not about to have an eating disorder. Or I may be wrong. Let me be. Let me be quiet. I'm sorry. Let me be quiet. See, you know what it is. Yeah, they be pre-workout and stuff. So you're wrong. I suffered from bulimia nervosa for almost 15 years. Oh my gosh. My parents served in the army, and so they would be gone. So to fill a void, I coped with food. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then it turned from it's not a bad cope. Yep. Bulimia, then with body dysmorphia. This is it was just getting stacked. stacked on top and top. Yeah. I haven't really told most people this, but um, I would tape my body. So I would seem thinner underneath my clothing. When did you get a brain on? When I became an adult, I went to school for like nutrition. And that almost in a sense was a form of healing because I was getting language and diction and figure right. things out. And then, Knowledge is power. Yeah, no truth. Knowledge is power, man. Pleasure meeting. Pleasure meeting you. Hold on, so I'm going to get all my, my, my stuff now. Do I think dude got eating disorder? He just said he cut with food. That's my answer right there. I'm taking you in, you have a firecracker dress on. Mm hmm. Is that bra from Tori? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it for sure is. They fit so well. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do you have a positive image? Well, all these people fat though. Always that way, but yeah. So you know How fat people be having these fit. eating disorders. Yeah. You know what you know, I'm saying? I maybe try to do a diet, but ultimately I would just say, oh, I just can't do it. I'm never going to be pretty. Certainly there was an aspect of, oh, I'm, I'm fat. I'm not good enough. So now it's, can I be fat and good enough? And that's that's where I'm at now. What are you um, passionate about? Ooh, Ooh shoes dirty. I only just started in November, but I'm already making blankets. I got very into it very quickly. <laughs> Is that a thing that happens in your life where you like find something and you just like pour yourself into it? Yes, and I realize as I get older, it is very much an ADD quality. <laughs> I don't think you had it. <laughs> like so, like, I'm things, and it's, I can't talk about my like people are funny or anything yeah. without like showing really physical, visceral signs. I don't think she has an eating disorder. Why would you say that? The ADD. She got one. So strong. I, I yeah. touch like a gust of it off of you. <laughs> it seems like you have outlets for those things. Nah, she probably don't got one though. I don't think Leah has an eating disorder because she's the one person that y'all would put in here to make people go. Do oh, she go? I didn't know people that were fat didn't have eating disorders. <laughs> Am I right? You were right. Hell yeah. They're always yeah. like, go find a random fat bitch just talk to her <laughs> off. Not that you're a bitch. I'm sure that you're a the bitch. I am absolutely the okay. bitch, but also fat, but in like a good way. I have been in a good way, huh? 100 pounds, but I'd say at the point huh? I was 100 pounds less than this. In a good way, huh? I worried about my body image constantly. What's the so good way? Until I realized that being fat wasn't equal to am I pretty or am I'm I not saying fat is bad, but like. like. And so I know it's very counterintuitive to say, oh, when what's I show way? What's your what's your good way? Or why why are you so special? I want to see. But it's true. I, I like take that. far better care of myself now that I don't think my body is a failure. Totally makes sense. Can I totally you? makes sense. Absolutely. It was oh, nice to meet you. You too. How are you feeling? She got an eating disorder. I'm outside. I'm yeah. I got one. Don't think all. For the I got one. Do you prefer wearing? Uh, I eat. Well, this is I eat. Mm -hmm. It's one of my uh, favorites to what? wear. Just because I think it brings out the green. She got one. Absolutely. She be at home throwing down. Sure. Do um, you have a medical reason for the spots in between them? No. I've always kind of had a bit of a fear of the dentist. I think your teeth are super cute. Thank you. What do you do when you're stressed? Putting away all of my electronics, sort of taking a, a screen mm. break. And yep. just sort of diving into the like, kitchen. Book. It's so calculated. Like, this is what I do here, and then after that, I decompress, and then after that, I do this. That happens as a response to something. I think she has an eating disorder. I think bulimia, because uh, bulimia can sometimes show up for folks 
like having a purge. Did I want? Did first dude get an eating and disorder? I don't know. I know I got one, one right, cause I knew old girl didn't have one, but. Yes and no. Okay, which part is yes? Eating disorder. Okay, the bulimia was definitely like just me, like, eh. That's not jagging somebody else. That was dice. <laughs> If you blow first to make it look better, if you blow on dicks, I don't suck dicks. Oh, I'm making it worse. Okay, hold on. Wow. She put herself in a bubble. It's actually called ARFIT, mm. okay. which is Avoidant Restrictive yeah. Food Intake Disorder. But for me, it's always, always, always been about food textures. So for me, there are certain foods where if I tried to eat them, essentially my brain is like, stop. Absolutely not. I cannot. So if I try to keep going and keep pushing through, that will trigger, trigger my gag reflex and I will essentially be forced to throw up. So I can't even swallow what it is that I'm trying to eat. So as I got older and as I was in therapy, now it's more so that for me, fed is always best. As long as I am sustaining my needs, everything else doesn't matter. That's awesome. Therapy is awesome. <laughs> What's your name? John. Nice to meet you, John. I'm Ray. So does she have one or what? Like, she just said she couldn't throw up. Or she said she can't eat food because she's going to throw up. Little lady. Little lady. You got one or what? Nice to meet you. You gay? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> hmm? Tell me. I get that way too much. You're not. I know. So if I was gay, would that make you think I had an eating disorder? Yeah. Why? It's like one of those in the culture things of like needing to stay thin. Has your weight kind of affected your self-image at all growing up? Because you look very healthy and very like... Bro don't got no eating disorder. It's a regular nigga. I'm saying healthy. It's a regular dude, man. <laughs> um, so I hate being called healthy because um, of my history with anorexia and bulimia. I wanted to be small. Yeah. If you say healthy, that means I'm big. I think you had restriction. When you're historically have been dating, do you find you you feel the urge to control what your partner does? Oh, that was something I worked through initially. Yeah, for sure. I think John has a eating disorder. That's an interesting way to get there because of the control. Yes. Was I right? He got one. I don't have an eating disorder. That little dude, the dude, yeah, he, he owns something. Huh? Things like that. So that's something I'm obsessed with controlling. Uh -huh. But it hasn't affected my relationship with food. Oh, okay. But, but, I do have a very severe uh, peanut allergy. What the hell? What the hell? Just some red herring that has a peanut allergy. <laughs> also, I should probably like have more sensitivity to peanut allergies. Do you feel like people like poke fun at it too much? I, it it doesn't bother me whether they poke fun at it or not. I didn't know that was a thing. I've passed out basically wow. from i was at a baseball game and a guy in front of me was eating peanuts and like he opened the bag it's hard to describe the smell but it just almost feels like a poison like you just, my body is like you need to get out of wow. here wow but you know i'm watching a baseball game we're outside so i thought it was okay and then next thing i remember is just my friend waking me up like are you okay no yeah way. swear yeah. that's crazy so you start walking away i don't want to do anything that is crazy i see a lot of tattoos always keep fighting what you been fighting? My demons. I was gonna say. <laughs> how would you say your? I ain't gonna say it. I ain't health. gonna say it. I did have a I'm hard not gonna say it. Comments from. I'm not gonna dad. say it. She been fighting that way to stay out that kitchen. <laughs> First, you're, like, you're filling out. There. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, bro. Like, well, we'll go to the gym and then you'll get guys to come around. With comments like that. I'm gonna say, yes, you had an eating disorder. I think Shorty has an eating disorder. Cause that fighting demon shit takes a lot of fucking energy. Fighting demons, you gonna, you fighting. You gonna be hungry at the end of the day. You ain't, you ain't, you fighting. You hungry, go get your proteins. It ain't no eating disorder, you just hungry. My body as fast as possible. Started after I got my gallbladder taken out. and Gallbladder. For a whole week. Oh, you couldn't eat? Oh, yeah. 20 pounds. You devoured. You devoured everything that was in the kitchen. Then I ate the um fridge. <laughs> and you can cook, too. Oh, you went crazy. Crazy. I can actually enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. By any means, this is all jokes. Like, ah, this is just jokes. Do, do not take me serious. Nice to meet you. Baby, you need love too, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet 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 you. N
Yeah, you remind me of my brother. Hey, brothers and sisters. His permission to talk about this because he had really severe anorexia. Okay. He's six foot eight. Have you always been? Damn. Uh, yes, I've always been one of the tallest kids in my class for sure. You play guitar? You no. Know, You're a gamer? A little bit. I'm trying to find the reason for why you look like this. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? No. It's how he looks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your thing? I'm a comedian. I'm a stand up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your relationship with your body. Sometimes I'm like worried that like it's too wide. Sometimes I'm worried I'm too skinny. The best way I can describe it is I don't know how I look. Wow. Yeah. I can see it being hard to have like an action item in terms of like how to change that. It's a no eating disorder. He definitely has an eating disorder. Cause it's hilarious. Could you imagine him standing up there just being I'm gonna like, say. so I'm fucking anorexic. And he's just like, yeah, and it's not my fault. Like, my mom is bulimic. <laughs> my dad is absent. There's something like, you know, like, he's just like hitting him. Boom, boom, boom. You're a lot like my brother. You're wearing like a sweater type material in the summer. So I would say you have an eating disorder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I said it. I said you're set. If you don't do that fucking set, I swear to fucking God. Yeah. I have a show this next week. I'm writing some better films. No. They're going to make something happen. Did you pick your outfit to cover your body? Yes, I did. I have a lot of struggles with short sleeve shirts, shorts. Yeah, I wish you could see the floor of my closet. <laughs> the amount of outfit choices I went through today. Um, <laughs> For me, consistently not knowing how I look. I he should have said, can I see your cards? I am consistent. Perfect little couple right there. So then I Perfect little couple. Whether or not I like that I'm thin, I know I'm thin. If that makes sense. Right. I am very excited for you. And I sincerely feel like this anorexia thing, it really was just the universe trying to give you some really bomb material. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're in the process of writing a really brilliant comeback story. Yeah, that's a really nice way to think about that, you know? Because, like, at the same time as, like, me going... Do say he fat, right? Able to communicate way better with, like, family and stuff. So it feels like I'm, I'm on that, like, that comeback tour, you know? It's coming. Yeah. It's going to be a great one. Can I hug you? Of course. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. Who did Nicole guess correctly? Hold on. Who did I guess correct? Alright, look. Here's what I say. Here's what I say. Big boy. Eating disorder. I said, white shorty right here, white girl with her hands up on the um, left side of y'all, right side of me, or I guess, I don't know. Don't have one. Blondie don't got one. Girl with the red top got one. Dude, he already said he had one green shirt. So these two on the right. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm going to say he don't got one. Oh, wait, I think he said he do. Well, I'm going to say he don't got one. Shorty, she had to cope. She had to cope with something. And that cope left her in the kitchen. Oh, was that girl with the red? I don't know. Girl, girl in the green, you got one. You got a disorder. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. And thank you all for coming, and thank you for putting yourselves in these positions where we can learn from you and learn from your experiences. Y'all are my heroes. This experience and just seeing so many people that have had disorders in the past and where they are today, I'm realizing that I am far from that and I would like to get there. So yeah, I'm just kind of in awe of everyone behind me and where they are with their own journeys, and this is... You literally could be my brother. <laughs> uh, not just appearance wise, but um, I'm not going to cry. Um, but thank you. That's nice, man. If you know some, if you or someone you know is struggling with a disordered eating or harmful thoughts around body 
image you can visit. There you go. It's for free. Confidential treatment referral or others information. All of that, man. All of that. So, if you got an eating disorder, type up www.eatingdisorder hope.com whatever they gonna do to you hopefully it's, it's, it's the best they might give you some food I don't know what they gonna do to you but if you got one go cope it but with that being said thank y'all for, for tapping in with that being said Y'all, stay tuned for another video, and I am out. Stay tuned for more vids. Hey, stay tuned for more vids. Like and subscribe, man. I don't know about what you're here, boy. We swear